Chapter 4.2 is the mass in the imperial system. So we're going to look at what measurement unit is appropriate for, mo uh, for each one, the moose, mouse, and the kitten. And we're going to look at ounces, pound, or ton. So for the first example, for a moose, uh, a moose is quite a large animal. So would you think an ounce, a pound, or a ton? Ounces are quite small, pounds are a little bit bigger, and tons are the biggest. So you'd probably want to measure a moose in terms of ton. A mouse? A mouse is very small, so you wouldn't use pounds, you would probably use ounces. And finally a kitten, a kitten's a little bigger than a mouse, um, and you would probably use pounds. So just an appropriate measurement for each one. Some conversion factors you'll need to know is that one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds, and that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. All right, for example, a baby weighs six pounds and five ounces. What is the weight in ounces? So it wants us to convert this to just ounces. So the first thing I would do is I would take six pounds and convert it to ounces. So six pounds is equal to how many ounces? An easy way to do this is to try to think of, well, I want to cancel out my pounds. So I'm going to put pounds on the bottom. And I'm going to say, how many ounces are in one pound? Well, we know that up from above, there are 16 ounces. Now, when I look at this, the pounds cancel with the pound. So I'm left with just ounces. So the calculation that I do is just 6 times 16. And that's equal to 96 ounces. But I also have to add on the 5 that I had before. So that gets me to 101 ounces. So a good way to think of it again is to cancel off your units. And in order to cancel, you have to put the other units on the bottom. So the top one is what, you're, what you want to be left with. In this case, ounces. And we knew that there were 16 ounces per one pound. Part B. If a baby loses 10% of their weight in the first week, but each week afterwards it gains 5 ounces each week, how much will the baby weigh after 4 weeks? after four weeks. So, the baby weighs 101 ounces. It's going to lose 10% of their weight in the first week. So a good way to do that is to multiply by 0 0.10 for 10%. So I converted 10% to a decimal. Next thing I do is I do the multiplication, 101 times 0.1, and I get 10.1. Now that's ounces, and that's how much the baby loses. So I have 101 minus 10.1, which is equal to 90.9. Now that's how much the baby weighs after one week, because it has lost 5 ounces. Last example. So coffee beans are bought from a farmer, roasted, and then packaged and resold to customers. A cubic foot of unroasted beans weighs 35 pounds. So a cubic foot is equal to 35 pounds. But after roasting, it weighs only 27 pounds. So the question is, what do you pay the farmer that sells beans at 150 per pound if you buy 30 cubic feet? So I start off my conversion to pounds because we need to figure out, well, he's he's paying, you're paying $1.50 per pound, so I need to convert everything to pounds. So I have 30 cubic feet I need to convert to pounds, so that means I have to put the cubic feet on the bottom. and the pounds on top. And remember, how many cubic feet per pound? Well, let's see, a cubic foot, so for one cubic foot, there are 35 pounds. So remember, I put the one on top that I want to keep, and the cubic feet on the bottom will cancel away. So I'm left with 30 times 35 is equal to 1,050. Now that's 1,050 pounds. We're paying $1.50 per pound. 
So what do you pay the farmer? I'm going to have to take $1.50, which is per pound, multiply it by 1,050, because I have 1,050 pounds. 1,050 times $1.50 is actually equal to 1,575. So $1,575 to buy 30 cubic feet of unroasted beans. Now the next question, what is the revenue when the beans are sold to customers for $16.95 per pound? So the first thing I need to do here is figure out what I have here. The revenue for beans is, I'm going to have 27, and remember this is 27, cubic, or 27 pounds after they're roasted. So 27 pounds over 35 pounds, which is equal to, I don't know how much that's going to be, over 1,050. So how do I solve for x? I'm going to have to cross multiply. So I cross multiply these two things. I have 27 times my 1,050, which is 28,350. So 28,350, which is equal to 35x. 35x. So now what I do is I have to solve for x, so I divide by my 35 on both sides. And I say that x is equal to, if I divide that by 35, and I have x is equal to 810. Now that's 810 pounds. Because for 27 pounds of unroasted, there are 35, or sorry, 27 pounds for the roasted, oops, there were 35 pounds of unroasted. So I have roasted on top, and unroasted on the bottom. So now 810 pounds is what I have left, and that means I have to figure out what the revenue is, so that means it's 810 times, now look, they're selling this time for $16.95 per pound, times $16.95 per pound. So 810 times $16.95 per pound, which is 13,729, and 50 cents. So that is the revenue that is made when beans are sold to customers for $16.95. So if you're unsure, just go back, look, watch through the video. The main important thing is figuring out what is uh, an appropriate measurement in weight for certain items and using con conversion factors. And always make sure to use, check your data sheet because you're allowed to use those for every test and quiz.